Prouve le contraire si l'on dit de toi que t'es nul. Hello everyone. Welcome to my video channel Medic Code. My name is Frank. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build this certificate generator. So, this will actually generate a certificate, a word file certificate. So, we just have to give some information here. So, in our case, we just use name, first name and birthday. We don't want to make something complicated because we don't we don't need that. If you need to add more information, you can do it yourself. It's not a problem. So here we can add the name. I will just write subscribe and here my channel. So here we can choose a date. I'll say whatever. So if I click on generate, then you will see a file, a Word file, Microsoft Word file appear on the on the folder here. So generate. And you also see we have a feedback when everything was correct so we have our certificate I can open it and there we are you can see subscribe subscribe my channel and the date we have chosen and we also have so the generated date actually the date of today that's why we have this and that's what we are going to build in this project in this video so let's go ahead and code this now let's go ahead and create a new visual studio project so actually a windows form app so if you've done that you also have to add some couple of things on your form so you have to add some text boxes so this is text box for the name text box for first name and a date picker so you just have to take them date picker and you can just drag and drop and everything's done so you also have oh i'm sorry you also have to add a button so actually this button so as you can see the project i've showing you before we had two buttons but now we're just using one because um actually in that uh, in that one we had uh, another button for printing so we also have possibility of printing our files directly but because we're not gonna cover that part in this uh, video tutorials we will just simply add one button so a generate docs button so now if you've done everything as I specified so just just go ahead and start with me coding but before we start coding we also need to create a template file so um, just open word on your computer so after you've done that just tip diploma and then you will have this but it doesn't matter actually you can choose any any files any type of files you need so but we just need to have name first name and birthday you can also create your own i've used this before because it's already there so i don't need to create another one because the purpose of this project is not about about word but about uh, c sharp so now as you can see here i have some uh, parameters so normally you should have this but i change a couple of things such as it's more customized so so i add my my initials or my i don't know whatever so here you have uh, some text uh, and all this so just customize it as you want but the most important part are these four parts so name first name birthday and date and as you can see i also use the comparator operator so so just also please use that because our program is will be built such as it, it will recognize this simply so that's all for this and I will also recommend you to save your file directly in your project folder. So as you can see here, I call it temp and I save it here. This is actually the template files, the template document we will use for generating all certificate. So we will just open it in the background with, uh, with our program and just write this information and save the final 
certificate so that's what we are going to do now now just go ahead and double click on your form or you just have to push f7 then you have the code appears on the screen now we need to add references because we are using some couple of method that are already programmed for managing words file microsoft file so that's why we need to add references and for doing that you need to come here on the solution explorer click right add references come and then microsoft microsoft word according to the version of visual studio you are using you will have a different version but it doesn't matter actually just click on this checkbox and push ok and everything will be uploaded on your code so as you can see here you should have microsoft office core microsoft office interrupt word and VBIDE. ide so this this three guys should appear it on your reference folder so now you also need to add this all these references so actually the reference we add right uh, a second before it's this here so because we don't want to write every time this Microsoft Office interrupt word we just decided to set up this guy as the shortcut of this guy so because we will be uh, working with files so that's high that means we will open close right inside of files check if file exists that's why we add this so and the others are just standard things now uh, let's go ahead and code our first function so just copy this and uh, I will explain you in couple of minutes why all this and uh, yeah so so now this function find and replace is just a function that will look inside of our file our word file look after this text and replace it with this guy with this other text actually as you can see here i've defined a lot of ob object so i will show you in a couple of minutes why we use that so just open up uh, your word so you can just create a blank file it doesn't matter i'm just going to show you why i'll add those objects so i'm sorry because my word is actually in german i couldn't change that but actually um i'm pretty sure you know the replace function replace just click on that and you will have this appears on the screen so it's exactly this function and we have this function here inside it's exactly the function we have in word here we have programmed it here we have using it here because it's already programmed in this library so all these parameters or objects are defined here so this is these are some options you can choose when you are uh, searching for after the text you need to change and we have added all of them here so match case all these things so that's why you see I've added a lot of object and some are true or those are false because we don't need some so now you have all that and here we have word app because here we create a word app this is actually a word app with a file open this is a word app so now we have word app selection find execute this is the find function find replace then you have to add all parameters you need for that find function so the first one is the text that will be found so this is it and the other are just this guy they will be automatically recognized from this function so you just have to write them like that so just write everything in the same order and uh, just save this is our first function now let's go ahead and create our second method so our second method is called create word document this is actually the function that will generate or the method that will generate our certificate or our word docs so as you can see this method takes two parameters file name and save as 
file name is our template file so the word template file and save as is the file that will be generated so actually we take the template file we set up the name the first name and the birthday and we save this into the save as file so that's what's going on here and as you can see the file name is not a string we have defined it as an as an object it's because of this guy this guy doesn't take string here as parameter he thinks he takes object and everything will be done uh, in the background so it it is already programmed for handling such kind of situation it's the same thing for the save as as you can see here but now let's go step by step and see what's going on there in this method so as you can see here we have created a word application so when you see this this screen actually with word this is a word application so we have created a word application here and we also define here a missing object so as you can see here this function has many parameters and actually we we, we don't want to use all parameters so that's why we have defined this guy so you can see missing value so this will recognize automatically that we don't want to use these parameters that's that's why i've written here missing missing that's why we define this object so and now we create a word document so this is a document we, we will generate and uh, save inside of the save as file now what we have to do we have to load our template file so but first before loading it we have to check if it really exists it exists so that's why we've defined some parameters here for example read only false because the default value is actually true but we need to write inside of that file that's why we've defined this object is visible false because we don't want to see what's going on that's why we define things just like that and we also have word apps visible we have said false not nothing will appears on the screen so we won't see this appeared and things going on on that but you can set it you can set this value uh on true and you will see how it can be different so now what we simply done here we just open our template file and then we set the file name we're going to open we set uh, the missing parameters because we don't want to use this you can read in uh, uh, um, documentation about this function if you need but we don't need that actually now so read only is, uh, is also set it we have add all these guys just because we needed to set these guys on false but if we w just wanted to read then we could just write this but actually we also need to give access to our program to write inside of the docs and now we go ahead now you can see i've put some comments find and replace the find and replace method we have programmed before so as you can see here he take our words app we have created before and then he switch after this string and when he he's found this string then he will save the text inside our text box the name and the same thing will be will be done for the first name and the birthday as you can see here date picker and values and that that was and we've also have to save the date as you can see here in our word document we have a date here and we also want it to have a value so that's why we also set this guy so but actually we also uh, define such as when we has when the file doesn't exist then we have to give a feedback so the message box will be shown so after we've done all this that means we open the file we write it inside now we have to save and we have in the library of uh, this library we've added here this function my doc save as two so save as it will be save as we will define and do will be uh, it will be the, the the place the file will be saved so save as will be the the path the path 
in which our generated certificate will be saved. And after doing all this, we have to close and quit our application. So actually close, close this guy because we don't need it anymore. And if everything was correct, then we shows up file created. But now, as you can see, all functions are already programmed, but we need now to generate file when we click on this button. That's why we need to add event handler for clicking. So just double click on that button and you will have this appeared on the screen on your screen. And what we have to do here, we just have to create. So let's call the method create word document. So as we have seen before, it needs two parameters. Two parameters, file name. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing that. File name and save as. Those are path, the path of, of our temp file. So for having that, you just have to come here and just do this and you can copy this and paste it right here. So because C sharp doesn't recognize the backslash, you need to put two backslash or you can simply do this. I, I actually prefer to use this because it's easier. So we also have to set to set up the path where our generated certificate will be saved. So I will just copy this and until desktop and uh, keep sure everything's you no know, correct. Yeah, and the name of the document. The name of our document that we are going to generate i'll just call it certificate dot docs so here also do not forget we have to read the term docs so now we have everything done let's test it so just compile it by tapping Control F5. So we have it done. So I also have my folder. So this is the temp file, and I just have to write some couple of information. As name, I'll simply write subscribe my channel, and then as first name, I will say for more videos. And uh, a date, I chose just whatever is and generate. You will see the file appears on the screen here. Ah, yeah, we have it. And we also have the feedback that the file has been correctly created. So now let's open it up and check out. As you can see, we have everything's done. Subscribe my channel for more videos and the date. We also have. The actual date so today and everything is clearly done subscribe my channel for more videos and i will see you next time